and a very short professional career. What a tremendous prospect he is. Now, at middleweight this afternoon, there was great support here for Nigel Benn from West Ham. He's only had three fights, but he's won them all. And in contrast, his opponent this afternoon, Winston Burnett from Cardiff, is the most experienced professional in Great Britain. But he loses more than he wins. Let's see how he fares in this one. We join the fight for the start of round two. Second round, then, of this very interesting middleweight contest, although they both come in well above the middleweight limit. Right. Nigel Benn unbeaten from West Ham in the light blue trunks, the big hitter against Winston Burnett, the arch survivor, the master craftsman when it comes to defending anyway. Right. And he's going to have to dig deep into all his boxing knowledge and experience Burnett to stay around and to survive these big bombs that Nigel Benn is throwing. Head-to-head -head stuff in the second. Remember, Nigel Benn has never been beyond the second round as a professional. He stopped all three opponents. In fact, he's only once been involved in the second round. But Nigel Benn must already realise that I don't think Burnett has got anything there to really damage him. He's an interesting character, though, Winston Burnett. Jim Rodney's right. been in with the likes of Kayla, Jimmy Price, Brian Anderson, Tom Collins. I mean, he's fought a very high pedigree of fighter, hasn't he? Yeah, and the nice thing about him, he enjoys the game. He's one of, of the few people that go in there and enjoy them. So if, uh, after that first round, he took out time to wave to Ben's fans. Ben's going about the job the right way. He's still just waiting to see some target. He's just punching right through Burnett's defence. Some of his punches behind the elbow into the short rib. I think uh, over the first few rounds it will probably do a bit of damage to Burnett. But, but I think his biggest, ch his biggest chance of a stoppage is if the referee just reckons he's getting through too often. Even if the punches are not landing bang on, clean on target. If they're getting through and uh, Burnett's not coming back with anything, I think the referee will pull him out of there. Well, fair to say that uh, Winston hasn't come back with too much so far. Those are really damaging punches from Nigel Benn. Tremendous amateur record, 30 out of 31 he won. He was only beaten by the excellent Rod Douglas. Still a lot of the amateur about him. But no doubting the potential of a man from West Ham. Tries to get him underneath that uppercut. solid punches and I know Burnett would probably play but he's catching most of those on the gloves and although all the attacking is coming from Nigel Benn Burnett has seen all this before don't you worry that uh, Nigel Benn now steps into unknown territory. Reaching the third for the first time as a professional. Winston Burnett doesn't have to rely on boxing for a living. He's a sales executive. Bright, articulate, intelligent, 28 on Monday. And as Jim Watt was saying, he just loves this game. He trains seven days a week, 12 months a year and despite his record he just loves doing it and as you can see that doesn't look like a place that's really suffered in 83 fights it's a third of a scheduled eight rounder then and just as the first two it's all attack from this hard punching former ABA middleweight champion Nigel Benn clipped him well there as he stepped back with a left and that to me was really the first punch that's got through and done real real damage and Winston Burnett the arch survivor who has been in 
with some of the best names in British boxing. And he's now testing out the qualities of this very promising young middleweight. <laughs> I mean, Jim, what is Burnett hoping he's going to punch himself out because he hasn't got the professional experience that he has? Well, obviously, he must be hoping, he must be saying, surely this pace can't last much longer. But uh, Ben is right. catching him a little bit cleanly now. He's catching him around about the forehead. And uh, as I say, I keep looking to the referee to see how he's feeling about things. But uh, Burnett keeps coming back with the attacks of his own, keeping him in the action. And uh, still not really coming to any great harm. But uh, he surely must be saying, hopefully the pace can't last like this for too many rounds. I mean, you as a former champion, do, do you wonder about the mentality of someone who, who goes in there just for the fun of it? Well, see, all, all the strain in boxing is because you've got to win all the time, and that takes a lot of the pleasure out of it, believe it or not. But uh, Burnett doesn't worry too much about winning. He gives a show, he earns his money, and he's going in there without strain, so he actually enjoys himself, although I don't know if he's having such a good time this afternoon. He'll probably say he is, although those three left hooks that uh, Nigel Ben landed. Most of you might not want to spend a, a nice bright Saturday afternoon on the receiving end of those. But he's presenting an awkward target to Nigel Ben and Ben, you would have to say, isn't varying his attacks too much, Jim. He's, he's wading in and trying to herd him downstairs. Well, he probably hasn't varied his tactics, but he does have a good variety of punches. He's been throwing every punch in the book, hooks, jabs, uppercuts. So he really does have a good variety, but uh, keep in mind we're looking at the tightest defence in boxing today. Upstairs and downstairs goes uh, Nigel Ben with that right hand. looking towards referee Sid Nathan. It'd be interesting how he feels about things. As uh, Winston Burnett comes down just above us here, he's still chatting away and uh, not looking unduly concerned about things. Never off his feet, remember, as a professional. And this is his 84th fight. He turned professional in February 1980. And uh, 64 times he's gone out of the ring a loser. And uh, just 17 victories. Had to have a brain scan. His board of control ordered him to have one of those. And he was very, very hurt indeed by that. Said, well, there's no problem because I haven't really been knocked around despite my record second out round four fourth round then Nigel Ben has finished his first three fights the man in the light trunks and extra quick time has never been this far as a professional it's only his fourth contest and that was a good shot against Winston Burnett, the big survivor from Cardiff, who has never been off his feet in seven years as a professional. And could this be a little moment of history here? Because Burnett looks ragged. He's been stopping quite a few punches in the first three rounds. He's looking a bit wobbly in that corner. Referee Sid Nathan is looking in, and he stopped it. He stopped it, Nathan. Still, the record remains. Burnett never off his feet. But you can't really deny... Nigel Ben deserved that win from the first seconds of this fight. He took it to Winston Burnett and he's got through what's reckoned to be the best defence in British boxing. And Nigel Ben, the man. <laughs> so there you are. That was an extra fight for you, Nigel Ben and Winston Burnett. Well, now as we clearly have time in hand.